Hello, I'm Sheriff Kevin Rambosk, and I want to welcome you to On Scene. Hurricane season is upon us once again and the Collier County Sheriff's Office wants everyone in the community to plan ahead and be prepared in case a hurricane strikes our area. Stay alert and watch your local news and weather to get the latest updates on the storm. Make sure you have enough food, batteries, water, and other items such as medications. Know your evacuation routes and plan ahead. Don't wait until the last minute to pack. Secure your home properly and remove patio furniture so it does not become flying debris. For information about shelters, visit collierem.org or colliersheriff.org. Stay in your home, hotel, or shelter until the storm passes and it is safe. Do not wander out during the storm as there may be flying debris, live wire, and high winds. Do not drive anywhere during the storm as streets may be inaccessible and visibility may be very poor. If there is an emergency, call 911. Stay indoors until it is safe. Avoid driving right after the storm unless it is an emergency as roads might be blocked with debris, live wire, or floodwaters. Do not call 911 to report property damage unless it is life-threatening as emergency personnel will be extremely busy dealing with the aftermath of the storm. If you must drive, be cautious as traffic lights might not be operational. For information about hurricane preparedness, please visit the Collier County Emergency Management website at www.collierem.org. Collier County, Florida, Golden Gate District. Collier County Sheriff's Office Communications receives a 911 call from a subject advising that he came home and found his mother and stepfather lying in bed, possibly deceased. As deputies respond, the reporter tells dispatchers that there is a lot of blood on the bed and he thinks that both subjects have been stabbed. When deputies arrive on scene, they meet with the caller who tells them where the two victims are located. Deputies then enter the residence and discover two deceased subjects lying in bed.
The victims are 81-year-old Carmen Mercedes Perez Stoltz and 71-year-old Ludwig Volksheimer of Naples, Florida. Deputies immediately contact the Major Crimes Bureau and Crime Scene. Detective Andrew Hentges Moore responds and meets with the deputies on scene. On Tuesday, September 16, 2011, I responded to 5770 Seagrass Lane in Golden Gate and met with the deputies on scene. Deputies advised me they had been dispatched to a suspicious incident and upon their arrival they discovered two deceased persons in the residence. I obtained a search warrant for the residence and began my investigation. In the master bedroom, I located two deceased persons on the bed. The victims were Ludwig Volksheimer, a 71-year-old male, and Carmen Mercedes Perez Stoltz, an 81-year-old female. The crime scene unit responded and began processing the scene for evidence. A neighborhood canvas was also conducted. I met with Courtney Edward Wood, the son of Carmen Perez Stoltz. Uh, Mr. Wood stated that he last spoke with his mother on the telephone on September 13, 2011 at approximately 9 a.m. Mr. Wood advised me that on September 15, 2011, he spent the night at his girlfriend's house. The next day he attempted to call his mother but she did not answer. Mr. Wood went to work and tried to call his mother several times throughout the day without any success. Mr. Wood became concerned and decided to visit his mother's residence. Upon his arrival he found his mother and stepfather on the bed in their bedroom. He said that there was a lot of blood in the bed and it appeared that the victims had been stabbed. Further investigation revealed both victims had been shot multiple times. We developed a person of interest throughout this investigation. No arrests have been made. We're still moving forward with the investigation. I believe someone has information about this case that can give us the break we need to make an arrest. If you have any information about this case, please contact the Collier County Sheriff's Office at 239-252-9300 or Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS.
Hello, my name is Corporal Mapes. I'm with the Collier County Sheriff's Office Marine Bureau. I'm here today to give some advice to boat owners in case of pending storms or hurricanes. For boat owners that store their boats in the water, one of the safest things you can do is to remove it and store it in a dry facility that is hurricane rated. If your boat must remain in the water, what you want to do is check your dock lines, make sure that you replace old worn ones, double up your lines, check your batteries, make sure that your bilge pumps are working and that your scuppers are clear from debris. If a storm's approaching, don't wait until the last minute to secure your boat. If you're on a boat and a storm's approaching, the first thing to do is seek safe harbor. If you're unable to do that, monitor channel 16 and notify the Coast Guard if you have an emergency. Secondly, if you have a cell phone, make sure that it's fully charged so that you can contact emergency responders. If you have a GPS on board, providing coordinates will make it easier for first responders to locate you in case of an emergency. If you have any questions about securing your boat during a storm or boating safety questions, please contact the Collier County Sheriff's Office Marine Bureau at 252-9300. We hope you've enjoyed our program and we look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you for being our partner for a safe community.